example, the Okanagan-based True Leaf Company has their Lumby Cannabis Campus facility for sale. It does not mean they're leaving. In fact, they're sticking around and they're just looking for a partner. And, and really the intention is to, uh, to attract a joint venture partner that will purchase a, you know, a significant portion of the asset. And ideally, we do retain a percentage of ownership and uh, still lock in a supply of CBD for our pet products and then potentially some more return on our investment over time. You know, we've got a significant amount of capital invested in the site and uh, and uh, we're very close to getting a license. You know, we've had some discussions with Health Canada over the last few weeks, so we're pretty confident that will be coming shortly. We've done a lot of work over the summer to bring it up to GMP standards. It's it's like a hospital inside. You know, there's an airlock and uh, epoxy floors, and and uh, it's also ready to be HACCP approved for the new edibles regulations. That's going to be a massive market, we think, in Canada. But uh, you know, we're really focused on our pet business. It's, it's ab- absolutely doing very well out in the marketplace. The products are doing great. We we just launched a CBD for pets product line in the U.S. Lots of export interest. So really, the company. You know, it has this two tra- these two tracks, the pet division and the cannabis division, but we're really focused on the pet side of the business right now. And For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hatchew, Ian Vernon.